We're here located at Shore Road in Pella Manor at the New York Athletic Club, where paddleboarders and kayakers alike have joined forces in an effort to save the Long Island Sound. Participants of Save the Sound gathered paddleboards and kayaks to prepare for an eventful seven mile adventure to Sands Point, Long Island. I've always been a huge supporter of Save the Sound and um, with my stand up paddleboarding business with Sub Watch Tester, I thought it would be a really cool idea to organize an event where we paddled to raise awareness um, for the Long Island Sound and to raise money for them. Organizer Nancy Vinson also joins in on the fun and paddles along with first timers as well as the more experienced participants. The proceeds from the paddle today go to help save the sound's water quality program. So really specifically working on understanding better through science and monitoring what are the pollutants in the sound and then putting actions into motion to reduce pollution. So we can have a healthy sound where people can paddle and swim and fish and know that they're gonna um, be healthy and have a good day. It was such a good day that all of the participants made it to Sands Point, Long Island. Last year to this year, I think we wound up with 44 or 45 participants. Um, so I'm hoping that next year we get close to 80 or get close to that 100 mark. And then I would love to see, you know, maybe over in Long Island, get, get them on board where we can get some paddlers and some boaters and kind of, you know, meet in the middle and make it like a huge event going up the coastline. I think it'd be awesome. After paddling from Long Island, participants were happy to be back from such a unique experience. It was an incredible experience. I am super proud of myself for making the effort and everybody else who was out there today. It was a real, it was a real sort of team effort when it started to get choppy and everyone just kept talking to each other through it and powered through and it was a really fantastic experience. Remember, if you would like to know more information about regarding saving the Long Island Sound, make sure to visit ctenvironment.org. Reporting for The Local Live, I'm Alexandra Garcia.